Hello and welcome back to my channel. Um, I look not good, um, but I was sweat in a minute, so I'm, I don't see the thing why I should put on makeup and do my hair because I sweat already. So today's plan is to finally organize organize my bookshelf. Um, this is the current situation. I don't know what's going on here. To be honest, I'm so frustrated how this looks that I just shoved the books that I read in it. But yeah, this is the plan for today. Um, I will not talk that much during filming this film video because I just want to organize it. I have a live stream in four hours, so I hope I can get it done in three hours so I can get ready and eat something. And yeah, this is the plan. For the day. I also bought me some extra shelves. Um, so this is why I want to get everything out of my bookshelf so I can rearrange like the shelf situation so I can put on more shelves onto it. Uh, because I tried to do this and it didn't work that well. So yeah, um, let's get into it because there's no need to talk that much in the beginning. I forgot to tell you that I tried to um, arrange my books to genres. Like fantasy is on, sh on one shelf and then romance is on the other shelf. But the problem is I have m the most books that I have are fantasy books. So we will see how this goes. Anywhere you go, anywhere you go, give it up.
a short update um, for the shelf situation. You saw it. Can you see? Wait. I feel like in a presentation, but we are working. So these middle parts here. Um, wait, I go. So these middle parts here, I can't remove them. It's the structure of the bookshelf or the shelves. So I calculated. So they are all now the top ones are all now far away like the other ones like the same distance I calculate with my measurement okay the problem is now with my um, with my shelves that I bought so I have more room is that my space is very limited so I try to uh, arrange them in the same height range that I need to the thing is they will only fit now small paper bags like small small paper bags my normal paper like here in Germany we have different types of book we have card covers paper bags and we have um, a different paper bag that is a little bit smaller than the paper bag version that you know like we have two different versions of paper bags one is like a little bit smaller, one is bigger. It's the same height um, as a hardcover. So yeah, so this one and this one can only fit small paper bags. And my biggest issue is here now that I don't think that I have enough paper bags that will fit into these two. Like when I do this for the other shelves too, I don't think that I will have the same amount of paper bags for everything. And this is pissing me off. Because if I could rearrange the middle part, there would be no problem. But I can't. Because it's the structure. Hmm. My next thing is that I could drill new holes in it. So I can place it in this, these holes, so they will be far away. But in the end I drill a new thing in my bookshelf and it still won't fit. This is frustrating. And the thing is, my small paperbacks that I have are not all the same, like from the same genre. Like, I. My the paper bags version that fit into it. The paper bag can't be bigger than twenty centimeters. So I could fit. I think my my Cassie books in there, but also not all of them. Hmm. I'm pissed. But, okay. So my plan is for now to arrange this, that this has also the same height difference. And then we we see we will see we will see.
Okay. I'm... I'm done! Quick bookshelf tour. This is really quick, so buckle up, okay? Um, can you even see this? I know this looks ugly, but I have enough books on my bookshelf to fill these empty spaces. Because why not? This shelf here is my favorite shelf. Like, these are my favorite books of all fucking time. So when you're seeing this, when I'm filming, and you're like, what is this arrangement? This is my favorite books. We have Heart Supper, Ice Plant Barbarians, Reminders of Him. All in the same row. I know that they don't, don't fit in the right genre, but I don't care. We have here my three Love of the um, editions. Yes, I have three. We have Emily Henry here, Teddy Hibbert, The Brown Sister Ritchie, and Red White Roy Blue. I will die for this book. The Requiem series, House of Elms, House of Certain City, Throne of Glass. Then we have The Ninth House by Deepa Duro. We have My Metro Chronicles from a German author, so I'm so sorry you can't read this. Except for you can read German, so um, why not? These which just don't burn is also here, and the Happiness series by Jennifer Armstrong. On the bottom we have here the Red, um, from Blood Nash series by her, from Jennifer Armstrong. And on the bottom shelf we have my um, classics, my favorite classics, which is Pride and Prejudice and Emma by Jane Austen. On the top shelf we have here the fantasy books for my boyfriend, um, German book series. Game of Thrones and other ones, I don't know. Cassandra Clare, this is um, self story. We have here the Akita series by Sarah Jamas. And why is this not on my favorite shelf? Because I didn't know what to display. So my favorite one is Akita of Flames. I will die for next time. Yeah. Here we have fantasy books, um, mostly like fantasy who is in a world that is so far away from the actual world like the Sweden Kingdom, Urban Enchanted then we have historical fiction with She Who Became the Sun um, Prior of the Orange Tree The City of Brass Devil Trilogy The Way of Kings, because I don't know what the fuck to do with The Way of Kings Then we have Ali here, and my special edition is on display my favorite fantasy series, um, I only placed it here and not there because, um, like I said, the book can be taller than 20 centimeters and the book was tinier. Then we have The Throne of Glass, the German versions, A Dark and Hollow Star, The Dark Elements, Vampire Smut, Sherlock Holmes, The Crime Smut, Smut, um, Fantasy. Then I don't know what the place. We have the Six of Crows, King of Scars, then we have the Bring Me Their Souls, whatever. Um, the Seven and Love series. I'm currently reading God's Monsters, by the way. Um, then we have the Lux series, the Origin series, and the spin off or sequel. I don't know. Then we have the Historical Romance. This shelf, we have all my Jennifer Estes books. Fantasy, Fantasy, Fantasy. Ricky Boy. Um, Red Queen series, the German edition. I will do a, f a better bookshelf to on close, but to guess what is here. Then we have book from Josephine Antonini, Word Dreams to Send, here fantasy for YA, YA fantasy, vampire books that are trash, so I don't want to have them on display, but I want to keep them. Here on the shelves, I have books from my boyfriend, books from my boyfriend comics my non shelf uh, non <laughs> my non fiction books are here here is poetry i have exactly two books here is contemporary till here um contemporary then we have the rest of my classics then we have thrillers then we come to the bottom shelves um with romance romance historical romance and on the bottom here, you can see it on the camera, um, is our books by people we don't talk about anymore, like 
the person who writes um, Harry Potter and Twilight. Um, yeah, they are toxic and we don't want to talk about them. So they're on the bottom like they belong to. So, and I unhauled some more books. Okay, hi. I'm currently at these sprints, um, like the live show that I told you. Um, that I'm currently, um, that I want to do this on this day. But we are currently sprinting, so I tell you the books that I on hold. Um, this is really quick. So I decided to, first of all to unhaul Firelight. This is a trilogy um, fantasy YA. I only read the first book, never finished the rest of the series, and I don't want to. This is why um, I'm getting rid of these. I'm getting rid of the German non thriller book. Like, I read it earlier this year. I didn't like it. I give it one star. So I will um, unhaul this. I get rid of. Um, Go on other the Starless Sea Vampire Smut My boyfriend get <laughs> rid of it's good ugly person in resurrection. Um so my boyfriend showed me this <laughs> he put it on it and helped me to get rid of it. Then I get rid of one series that I read um, when I was a teenager, I really liked it, but I don't think that I will ever read this again. Um, this is Lobby First, and then the follow books for this, and um, by Megan McGuifer, Gaffery, Cafferty, yeah, McGuifer. <sighs> um, this book what I showed first on the on haul. Um, what's it called? I don't know. The statistical, um, statistical stuff of Love of the First Sign. I don't know, um, by Jennifer E. Smith. I like the book, but I get rid of it. Then we have here the um, Sleep, Dream and Wake series. I loved the book series when I was um, younger, but I get rid of it. It's by Lisa McMahon, um, because I don't see me rereading this. I'm getting rid of the selection of the four books plus Three books plus the sequels to it. A book about woman cycle. I get rid of that. The Shadow Me series by Terry Murphy. I get also rid of that. Then I get rid of a few books from my um, childhood. I love the books, but I don't see myself rereading this anytime. Um, and to keep this for my own child is a really, 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 really long time. Uh, <laughs> because I don't have a child yet. It's not even the making. And then I will get rid of the Fifty Shades of Grey books and the grey version of it. So, darker, freed, grey. This is not the um, things. Um, Fifty Shades of Grey. The second book and the third one. It could also be a month. But yeah, I get rid of yeah 39 books. I get rid of 39 books. So this was it. I hope you liked the rearrangement. I will definitely do a real bookshelf tour um, in a different video with when I have my decorations on and the things that I want to have on my bookshelf. Um, maybe I will change some things up, but this is this for now. I really liked it. I hope you enjoyed this video and then I will see you in my next one. Bye!